I'd like a. Did it cut it at all? I, I'd like. I'd like an Oculus Rift. <laughs> what? And and like a. I ain't saying I just like cutting the hair. I'm done. Oh. That'd be five dollars and a five dollar tip is suggested. <laughs> Welcome to Good Mythical More. How you doing over there? It burns right there. It's like a. You know, it's good. It's good for it. It's like it, an arm burn. It's, that's on the like head. a. It's like a far east kind of treatment. You do that kind of thing, and it stimulates the follicles, and your your hair is going to oh, grow. Would, grow, would grow you like one? No, it's going to it's going to grow double. Let's see what double happens. double as fast. I can't get my I can't get my hand through it anymore. Um, it's stuck there. Look at this. Look what I got here. I won a Father's Day. World's greatest father book. Lots of great things Which in store I, in this I'm more. I'm very curious this, to open this up. Uh, we're going to talk about some advice. We're going to talk about some mail. I'm and curious again, to open a big, this a big announcement, but yeah. Because are you curious? Do it. Well, because, I mean, I thought, oh, did you make two different books? Because you didn't know who was going to win. I mean, you may have figured I was going to win, but you didn't know I was going to win. Yeah, I think you're assuming that you're the greatest father, and... Uh, uh, yep, bingo, that didn't happen. That's Chase's freaking <laughs> <laughs> What is, so, okay, I haven't seen this either. So this is, uh, you did a photo shoot with your father? Yep. Did you take this photo? I did take that photo. You guys wanted a world's greatest dad prize, and so I made one for the world's greatest dad. Your dad. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what did your dad say about this? Congratulations. So smart. Just congratulations. Congratulations, yes. Did your dad recently graduate from something? No, that was a recreation of his college graduation. Oh, so we're going all the way through his whole life. <laughs> yeah. Was he a dad when he graduated from college? He was thinking about it. He was like, one day. <laughs> he was thinking day, about being a dad. <laughs> you did it. This education will make me a great dad. Jungle dad. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. What did your dad fights white tigers in the jungle? He, he's he's had some experiences. That's a stuffed animal that we keep in the office, man. Best dad <laughs> equals best hunter. Look at him, he's got the knife in Jungle his dad. Do you that what you call him sometimes? Yeah, absolutely. Your dad like, what is... What up, best hunter? I'm, <laughs> I'm up, becoming convinced now that he's a oh. firefighter. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. How did you, what did you tell your dad? Hey, dad, I need you to come in. I'm going to take some... We're doing a photo shoot. I was like, yeah, dad, you want to spend the day with me? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. Bring your dad I'm the greatest day. dad. Of course <laughs> I do, son. <laughs> yeah. What else would the world's greatest dad do? <laughs> He's running from a fire. The world's greatest dad doesn't run from a fire. He runs into a fire. <laughs> Is your dad going to make an appearance on Good Mythical Crew because of this? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So you want to see the, the process of this photo shoot. you got to watch Good Mythical Crew this Saturday. I like peppers a lot. Pepper pops. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't have peppers. Papa stickers. Hilt is not entertained. <laughs> yeah, you know. Papa Hilt. I like that. <laughs> It's like he's a rapper. Is he really wearing that? Or is that photoshopped? Is that his body? He's wearing that. <laughs> he's wearing that. Dang, you could have just photoshopped his face on a bunch of stuff, didn't have to get him to come in. But he's pretty <laughs> photogenic. He all the way. Your dad is photogenic. Whoa, oh, look okay. at this. My dad is out of this serious. world. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> the photoshop work here is really impressive. What is, your, what is your dad's <laughs> official profession? Uh, right now, he is a notary and realtor and expert witness. Um, he he's used to be a he's lawyer. Expert witness? <laughs> For anything. For photo shoots. I'm really good For at... For lawsuits involving photo shoots. I'm really good at watching law. stuff happen. I've been a part of a couple in my, in my day. Was there a photo all, shoot involved? All the things he's done. He can be an okay. expert witness for anything. But yeah, he was a expert he, witness. That sounds law. like something I'd be into now. <laughs> I'm, I can just, act like I know a lot about a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. That's what he mm. does too. Looking sharp. Oh, look, Dad. Chase is in here. Chase made an appearance. You're blocking him a little. That's Shading fine. him a little bit. It's okay. Yeah, well, you know, it's not like my turn. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, congratulations. You're a dad. <laughs> yeah, to AJ. Oh, oh, to the yeah, to your pet. Got it. How is AJ? The, that's it. That's the last page. The furry squirrel. That's it. Well, I'm gonna. Uh, you know what? Let's just. Continue. There's room for more dad. <laughs> Let's just continue to scroll. Yeah, just it's because, gonna fill up. It'll just continue. Just because we up can. With his life. <clears throat> okay, now. Uh, thank you, Chase's dad. What's his name again? Tom. Tom Hilt. Good man. Expert witness. If you need an expert in your trial. Before we get yeah, to the I'll mail, we have we have a few advice questions here. Haley Armstrong asks, any advice on what to do if you don't know what to get your dad? My dad is a very hard person to shop for. Help! I, I mean, I had recently had to make a decision about what to get for my dad's birthday. Uh, and everyone's dad is into, like, 
just a couple, he's in, into at least one thing, right? My dad's into golf, so I know that if I get him a gift certificate to like Golf Galaxy or Golf World or something like that, that he's legitimately going to be excited about that. There's a whole Golf Galaxy? It. Yeah, the whole galaxy. All right. And you know, you just gotta find that thing that you're Give him a into. gift card to something well, they're what's, into. What's he into? Figure out what he's into. Lucas Brown asks, most fathers prefer a gift that is useful, such as a tool or even a thermos. What would you guys as fathers want for Father's Day that is completely useful? I can totally relate to this. I like something that I that, that I use, and and this, you like thermoses. I do like thermoses, but I've 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 got my fill of those. So what I ask for is um, a shop vac, mm. which is very fatherly, and I binoculars. Bought my, I bought myself one of those recently. Not binoculars, but I just went and bought myself. I should have waited for Father's Day. I want my kids to decorate my shop vac with like world's greatest dad, like. How many horsepower did you get? I haven't got it yet. How many horsepower are you gonna get? I don't I don't know. You're want... gonna pick it out, aren't you? No, I want them to pick it out. I wanna just You're gonna let your kids pick out a shop back? Bad idea. <laughs> I'm not gonna really use it. <laughs> I mean, it's a shop back. You can flow be your hair with it. I do that sometimes. Flow be your hair and binoculars. Who are you going to be? Who are you looking at? Uh, you know, I got a balcony. You're going to you're going to be the the binoculars balcony guy. Bird, just birds, just birds. Emily Wallum asks, "You wouldn't, you probably won't read this on the show, but my cat's birthday is on Father's Day, and I don't know what to give him. Got any advice? Don't get him anything. He's a cat. I mean, really, right?" Don't get don't get animals gifts. We I mean, just give them the food that they need, but you know they don't they don't like, appreciate anything special. You haven't gotten Barbara a gift ever? No, I mean I get her things that are useful to me in the relationship. Like I get her a nice harness or I get her a nice leash and I get her food that she likes to eat. But I'm not going to be like it's Barbara's birthday, I'm going to give her something special because she's a dog and she doesn't care. She just wants to be taken care of and loved in on a, in a consistent way. Emily, she can interpret the gift. Emily, you should get your cat uh a cat luchador mask, because that would be cool uh, for the cat. But don't tie it to a birthday. Just get it if you want it for the cat. Uh, ben Kipps <laughs> states, I think Rhett might be my father. What should yeah, I do next? This again. Well, this is not, this is the second yard child who has come out. <laughs> this is apparently gonna become a thing. Uh, well, you should do what the other guy did and start a Twitter account. <laughs> And, uh, How's that going? You know, I've been private messaging with him. Uh, that's that's about it so far. Just just DMing, you know, a little fatherly advice through the DM. So I can do that with you, Ben Kipps. You know what day it is? It's Thursday. <laughs> and Thursday, Thursday wrong chord. means May. Greetings, Jen. Greetings. Now we have we have this thing for the Mythical Mail Museum, yes. which will be the last thing. Don't look sad though. Look happy, because it's there's you know we gotta there's be happy. More to come right. in other regards. Right. So regards. this is the last thing that's going in the Mythical Mail Museum, uh, but we're going we're starting something new. Yeah. The key ring of mythicality. Oh, you want to go ahead and talk about that? Check first. it out. Um, here's what we want to do, guys. We want you guys to start sending in key rings that, along with a letter, that explains why the key ring is special. And um, if it's just a thing that isn't a key ring, you can make it into a key ring using your own ingenuity and then send it to us. As long as it's in key ring form, it can be a candidate now, for the key ring. Now, um, you know, tomorrow's the last episode of the season, and then... We'll be back on August 1st, as we've already said What's this week. That? What's up, Drew? Keychains. What? Keychains. What are we saying? Key rings? Yeah, this, yeah, is, this key is the ring. ring. Keychains. Key we want keychains. We want, we want keychains for the one key ring. Key we don't chain. want other key rings. This is um, the key ring. But what you need to go ahead and mail in to us. Uh, the information is at redlink.com slash contact, or it's in the description of this video, to mail us a keychain along with a letter that is meaning, that that is, that explains yeah. why it's meaningful. It explains why it's Something special. Like and we're gonna fill this thing up with a gonna, lot of keychains. It's gonna be really heavy. And look then how, we're gonna become. Sad then we're gonna right be now, a though. janitor. We're yeah, gonna fill you, it up, and then we're gonna go apply for a job. You put it on your somewhere. back or on your pocket. It'll rip the belt your loop right pants off. Your will fall down. Yeah. Well, I got a really strong belt. 
So what I'm what I'm asking you to do is, if you want to be one of the first people um, to get your keychain on this thing, mail. right now, mail. go ahead and mail, mail it in. Mail. Do it. Do it. Do it right now. Like pause you the stand video. You the best chance right now. Yep. Okay. But let but let's um. Let's Let's send the Mythical Mail Museum out and, and, and stop. I mean, it's not, the Mythical Mail Museum is not going away. It is a permanent installation. It's a fixture. Of it exists. Uh, the Mythical uh, Castle is what Christy calls this, <laughs> this place, place that we work. She calls it a castle? She makes fun of me. She's like, your Mythical Castle. Wow. My, um, my wife would never say that. <laughs> Good morning, Rhett, Lincoln, Jen. I can comfortably consider myself a true mythical beast after binge watching almost all of your videos you have on all of your channels. I just graduated from the University of Florida. Go Gators! Last semester, and currently waiting, I'm actually, I, I'm a Georgia fan, sorry. But, you know, I, I, can, I can get down with the Gators every once in a while. I'm currently waiting for my husband to graduate so that we can move back home, which is Kuwait. When Ooh, I first moved wait. <laughs> here six years ago to start learning English and joining college, I thought about bringing a little something to display in my living room to remind me of home. I bought this small Arabic coffee pot, and now, since the need for packing and going back is finally getting closer, I decided, why not send it to you guys to display in the Mythical Mail Museum? I will instead use the space in my suitcase for your mug. Smiley yeah. face! Woo. I will be forever thankful for all the laughter Woo. your videos had provided me during my roughest times of feeling Woo. stressed about school, being homesick, or just relaxing after graduation. I'm sure many people feel the same way as well. I'm so excited and looking forward to be watching GMM from Kuwait! Thank you so much for taking the time to read my letter. I truly appreciate it. Sincerely, Nof? No F? Nof? I don't know. It's either Nof or No F. I'm gonna say... It's Nof, like Nof. Loaf. Of nof. Bread. Rhymes with loaf or Noaf, Rhymes with Boaf. This is cool. <laughs> the light is going to reflect off of this like mad. I'm just genius. confused as to how it makes coffee. Uh, yeah, but just put some grounds in there and shake it, boil this it. Thing's, this thing screws off. Does it now? Uh huh, that's where you put the coffee. No. <laughs> yeah, it is, man. Cause how do you, oh. how do you, how? That's where you put the cream. How does it come out? You, that could you be. Screw this that, you, that's possible. Then you, then you, I think this is just a container. I don't think it makes Cause, the coffee. Because uh, it doesn't go through that, because that the lid is, is the solid lid is here. so heavy. And then, I think you put cream in there. Uh, It'd be really that... difficult to clean if you put cream in there. That's true. Because if you put cream in Arabic coffee, if you put the grounds in there, I don't know. I don't know. You can't get the coffee. grounds in here. Right. Well, I appreciate the. And there's kind of a the filter. Coffee. Well, there's two holes. We're not going to use it. We're just going to admire well, yeah, it. Yeah, we're going to put it up in the museum. So again, we want to thank all of you who contributed to the Mythical Mail Museum. Uh, we pass by it often, and we stop, and we weep. We weep. Yeah. We weep openly. Often, yeah. Uh, we show people who I come can't through. go through there without crying. And I'm not going to be able to wear the mythical, the key ring of mythicality without crying. So, But it, it is a... Keep sending them and we'll keep crying. It is a <laughs> shrine to the family that, that you're a part of. Fam. Hashtag really fam. Hashtag fam. We don't really use that, but let's start. All right. Fam. I'll put this in the museum as the final placement. Do it. Make it, make it really dramatic. Make it special. Walk it's more gonna... slowly. Do a little spin. That's very dramatic, Jen. 